to another video with Food Diary from Mom to Son. In today's video, we're going to do the Goan special dry prawn curry with drumsticks. So let's go. Today we are making the most delicious Goan favorite curry and that's the dry prawns curry with drumsticks. And for this, I have taken here a half a cup of dry prawns, which I have already cleaned. You have to remove the head and the tail part of it. And now we need to soak them in little water. Thank you guys for so much love and support throughout this journey of YouTube and for the subscribers. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, liking and following me on Instagram. Masterclass the R7, Mr. Kurkuri, thank you. Now this curry is going to be flavorful because we are using drumsticks over here. And if you see in the market, you get drumsticks. You have to just peel off this covering, which is there. I've already peeled them and cut them like this. And here we have kept them ready. I've used here two drumsticks. Now to make the curry, I have taken here half a coconut grated. In that, I'm going to use one tablespoon of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, four local chilies, the kankon variety I'm using here, and three vedki chilies. And this will grind to a fine paste. For the tempering, we're going to be using one onion, one tomato and three green chilies. And you can see this is ground to a fine paste. Now let's go to the next step. Now the prawns have already been soaking for about 15 minutes. They have already become soft. We'll drain this water and we'll salt them. I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon of salt. Using your hands, you have to squeeze them nicely so that it becomes nice and mushy and the salt is nicely absorbed by the prawns so now let's get to cooking so i've taken here a pan in goes oil about a one and a half tablespoon and in that we are going to first fry the onions Once the onion has nicely brown, slightly golden, you can add in the tomato. And fry this till it is a little bit mushy. Now it's time to add in the prawns. Add them and now stir fry them for at least about 3 minutes. This will add a lot of flavor to your curry and it will be one of the most delicious curries you have eaten. Now it's time to add in the drumsticks and just give it another stir and now we are going to put in the masala. Here goes the curry masala and give it a nice gentle mix. Add in about one cup of water along with the water which is remaining in the mixer and add into this curry. Here goes. Now you see the thickness. It's very thick so let's add a little more water. Now all together I have added two cups of water. And I think this is just right because this curry is a little bit thicker and it is yummy. Now we'll add in the green chilies which we have slit. I've added two here and let this cook till the prawns have released their taste and it has become nice and tender. The drumsticks. Now curry has been cooking for almost about 15 minutes and the drumsticks are nice and tender. I've checked them. And now it's time to add in about four pieces of kokum. This will add in some nice flavor to the curry. And finally, we are going to add in salt to taste. Now check on when you're adding the salt because the prawns already have salt in them because they are dried prawns. Accordingly, you add in the taste accordingly. And now taste it. And it's very important to check the taste. 
let me try here how it is it's perfectly done very yummy and this will cook it for another two minutes and that's it and your dry prawns with drumstick curry is now ready i'm going to taste it and tell you how it is but try this now Share, subscribe, like, comment, and follow me for more masterclass. The R7. I'm going to eat it now. Guys, atta sang tunga. How's going to taste the dry prawn curry with drumsticks? Here we go. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. So begin kore. Subscribe kore, like kore, share kore, and let's begin try kore. And inshallah, see you soon for the next one. Thank you.